Cove Tobago is the flagship project of the Eco-Industrial Development Company of Tobago, EADCOT Limited, and is one of the first eco-industrial parks in the Caribbean. The fully secured park embraces the philosophy of sustainable development and spans 140 acres, 70 of which are identified for a tenancy of leased land. Additionally, the park is fully outfitted with all the necessary infrastructure to accommodate new and expanding businesses. Within our target industry clusters, Cove Tobago offers fully serviced land, built spaces, easy access to affordable utilities, ICT infrastructure, and our professional support is readily available. Cove Tobago is nestled in the island's southwest peninsula between the commercial nodes of Scarborough and Crown Point and strategically in relation to the transport infrastructure which comprises the main arterial, the Claude Noel Highway, the a r Robinson International Airport and the Port of Scarborough. The park is therefore positioned in close proximity to a considerable amount of Tobago's development, the majority of Tobago's resident and visitor's population, access to a suite of support services and a pool of skill and semi-skilled labor. Our objective at Cove Tobago is that all industries will share a symbiotic relationship, further contributing to nurturing a spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship in Tobago thus enabling our tenants to become competitive both on a national and global perspective. Our target industry clusters are defined as eco-friendly manufacturing and service delivery businesses, including agro-processors, marine resources processing, information and communications technology, light manufacturing, renewable clean downstream energy, energy-based operations, creative industries, food and beverage. The Cove Tobago Built Development Zone currently comprises two multi-producer units and two factory shells named after well-known entrepreneurs of Tobago. The Caroline Sophia Cowie and Margaret Jack multi-producer units are designed to facilitate light manufacturing and agro-processing operations of small businesses and can be outfitted to meet the operational needs of the tenant. In addition, our MPUs are compliant with local and international standards to facilitate the tenants' need to obtain pertinent certifications for the exportation of their products. Each MPU comprises two levels, with four units on each level. Each unit ranges from 573 square feet to 1400 square feet and include common services areas such as a service lift, loading bay, welfare and safety facilities, and all supporting infrastructure. Factory shells are available to businesses requiring space for manufacturing or other operations in alignment with the park's designated activities. The Isaac T. McLeod and Rufus Phillips factory shells are ideal for light manufacturing. Each building consists of two units with 3,000 square feet of factory space and 1,200 square feet of office space. Factory shells have been outfitted with common services areas such as a loading bay, welfare and safety facilities and all supporting infrastructure. 70 acres of lease land is also available at Cove Tobago for tenants who are desirous of constructing their own production facility. These vary in size and have already been prepped for the connection of utilities. A standard 30-year agreement is applicable for all land leases. Cove Tobago is currently outfitted with the following amenities and utilities. 6 meter wide dual carriageway roads with sidewalks and utility corridors for underground services including electrical power, water reticulation, wastewater collection, voice, video data, telecommunications infrastructure, and natural gas. Water supply. The main electrical power is supplied through a 12,000 volt underground cable. The park is the landing point for a large pipe natural gas supply provided by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Underground fiber optic communication infrastructure was deployed and now gives full access to multiple service providers, 24 hour security, and a wastewater treatment plant. Cove Tobago is intelligent industrialization in paradise. The development of this eco-industrial park was designed with consciousness of its environmental landscapes and the impact on the surrounding communities. Eco-industrial parks combine the business advantages of traditional industrial parks with systems implemented for a more efficient utilization of resources and improved productivity. This methodology achieves the social responsibility goals of both EADCUT and its investors while lowering exposure to climate change risks. 
all operations on the park engage environmentally responsible practices to achieve sustainable development with the intention of increasing economic gains and improving environmental quality. Cove Tobago has incorporated eco-friendly features, solar power street lighting. Our modular buildings are designed to be resource efficient by reducing the artificial lighting requirements and energy consumption. The plans for our land use allow the allocation of open green spaces for recreational, ecological and aesthetic purposes and most importantly to reduce soil erosion in our waterways. Cove Tobago possesses one of the region's cleanest gas-fired power plants and the heat generated can be utilized in other industries. Within our circular economy, tenants are encouraged to examine their business operations to determine opportunities available to themselves and other tenants, to integrate and reuse outputs from one activity as inputs into another. Consideration is also given as to how the opportunities at Cove Tobago can impact the operations of other businesses on the island of Tobago. As part of our water conservation plan at Cove Tobago, we collect and store grey and rainwater as part of our sprinkler and washroom system. Cove Tobago, creating the environment for successful diversification of the Tobago economy. Join us on this journey.